Good morning. So we are going to begin with the remaining topic of chapter three, that is optical disc. So optical disc storage, that system offers unlimited data storage at a cost that is competitive with the tape. So it comes in a number of formats, and the most popular format that is being ubiquitous is CD-ROM, that is also known as compact disc read-only memory, which can hold more than 0.5 GB of data. So these are only a read-only medium, making the ideal for software and data distribution. The CDR that is known as CD recordable, and CDRW that is known as CD rewritable, and WOM that is write once read many disks are optical storage devices that are often used for the long-term data archiving and high volume data output. So the CDR that is CD recordable and write once read many they offer unlimited quantities of tamper resistant storage for the documents and data for long term achievable storage of data some computer systems send output directly to the optical storage rather than paper or microfiche so this is called computer output to laser disk that is cold robotic storage libraries also called as optical juke boxes that provide direct access to my right optical disk so if we talk about cd rom they are polycarbonate or plastic disc that is 120 mm or 4.8 inches in the diameter to which a reflective aluminum film is applied the aluminum film is sealed with a protective acrylic coating to prevent the abrasion and corrosion the aluminum layer reflects light that emits from a green laser diode situated beneath the disc and the reflected light passes through a prism which diverts the light into a photo detector the photo detector converts the pulses of light into electrical signals which it sends to the decoder electronics in the drive you can see from the diagram there is a photo detector a lens a slash prism laser lights a slash motor a disc motor and a spindle so the compact discs are written from the center to the outside edge using a single spiraling spiraling track of bumps in the polycarbonate substrate and these bumps are called as pits because they look like when viewed from the top surface of the cd the lineal spaces between the pits are called as lens the distance between the adjacent turns of the spiral track the track pits that must be at least 1.6 micrometer if we want unravel a cd rom or audio cd track and it lay down on the ground the strings of pits and lens would exactly near 5 mm so they were designed for storing the music and other sequential audio signals the data storage applications were an afterthought as you can also see from the figure mode 0 there was 12 bytes there was saying 4 bytes were header and 4 bytes were all 0 in the mode 1 and in mode 2 you can also see like there is a diagram that is find the small frame numbers 0 1 2 97 and sub channels are also defined there so there is a 24 bytes payload and 98 of these is equals to 1 sector so the CARC, which is also known as cross interleaved read Solomon code, is also there. So the most compact disks operate at the constant linear velocity, which means CLV, that is the rate at which the vector sectors that pass over the laser remains the constant, and regardless of whether those sectors are at the beginning or at the end of the disk. So the constant velocity is achieved by spinning the disk slower while accessing the outermost tracks than the innermost. And a sector number is addressable by the number of minutes and the seconds of track that lie between it and beginning of the disk. Well, these minutes and seconds are calibrated under the assumption that the CD player processes the 75 sectors per second. So the CD room drives are faster than that with the speed up to 52 times than the speed of audio CDs. So the track page of a CD can be more than 1.6 micrometer while multiple sessions are used. 
audio CD is have songs recorded in the sessions which is vain viewed from the below that give the appearance of broad concentric ring while the CDs begin to be used for the data storage the idea of a music recording session was extended without modification to include the data recording sessions there are 99 sessions in the CDs the sessions are delimited by a 4500 sectors lead in the contains that the table of contains for the data contained in the session so the next is DVD that is known also as digital versatile disc also called as digital video disc that can be thought of as acquired density CDs the DVDs rotate at about three times of the speed of CDs and they are approximately half of the size of CD pits and the track pits like CDs they come in recordable and non-recordable varieties the DVD technologies improve upon CD technology in many ways one of the most important is the DVD uses a 650 nm laser while CD employs a 780 nm laser which means the feature size can be much smaller on DVD so the linear space occupied by a single bit is shorter the shortest bit length on DVD is 0.4 micrometer as opposed to the shortest bit length of the 0.83 micrometer on CDs and the DVD tracks can be placed much closer together so the track page on DVD is 0.74 micrometer as opposed to 1.6 micrometer for the CD it means the spiral track is no longer on DVD in DVDs the 650 nm laser that provides more than twice the recording density of CD 750 nm laser than the 450 nm wavelength of the blue violet laser breaks all the barriers it also defines for industry's great data storage both Sony and the Plasma Corporation released a blue laser medium designed especially for archival data storage so both the products are intended for use in data centers and thus are optimized for the transfer speed upwards of 6 MB per second the various technologies are used to enable the recording on CD and DVDs and the most inexpensive and most pervasive method use the heat sensitive dye the dye is sandwiched between the polycarbonate substrate and the reflective coating on the CD while struck by light emitting from the laser this dye creates a pit in the polycarbonate substrate and this pit affects the optical properties of the reflective layer so the rewritable optical media such as CDRW is replaced the dye and reflective coating layers of a CDR disc with a metallic alloy that includes such exotic elements as indium, tellurium, antimony and silver. In its unaltered state, this metallic coating is reflective to the laser light while heated by a laser to about 500 degree Celsius. It undergoes a molecule change making it less reflective and the coating reverts to its original reflective state while heated to only 200 degree Celsius. And the biometallic alloy, the two metallic layers are encased between the protective coatings on the surfaces of the disc the laser light fuses the two metallic layers together that causes a reflectance change in the lower metallic layer. The bubble forming is a single layer of thermally sensitive material is placed between the two plastic layers while hit by high powered laser light. And bubbles form in the material that causes a reflectance change. So despite their ability to use the same frame formats as CD-ROM, CD-R and CD-RW discs may not be readable in some CD-ROM drives, the, incompatib the incompatibility arises from the notion that CD-ROMs would be recorded or praised in a single session. 
So CDR and CDRWs on the other hand are most useful while they can be written incrementally. Like floppy disk, the first CD-ROM specification ISO 96060 assumed single session recording and has no provisions for allowing more than 99 sessions on the disk. So today's topic that was about CDs and DVDs was remaining one. In the next lecture, we will continue the remaining.